Hey everybody, TYT Sports Locked Out here in Chile, Culver City, California. Rick Strom with you. The Chicago Bears. This team right here, if you can see it. This thing cost me a fucking fortune, but it's awesome. So the Chicago Bears, and it's doing its job, lost to the Houston Texans last night at rainy, chilly, cool Soldier Field. Now, there are many points to take away from this game. Firstly, Bunda called me out and called me a sourpuss because I wasn't giving the Texans defense any credit, as you see right there. Dude, I was totally giving the defense credit. The Texans' defense is, by the way, both defenses deserve credit because of the, it was a 13 to 6 ball game. The fact is, the Texans put together one better drive than the Bears did all night when Arian Foster caught a two yard touchdown pass in which Matt Schaub put it in a perfect place that Lance Briggs could not get to. Arian Foster, by far, by far, their best player on this day as he ran for over 100 yards, 102 to be exact. He did not have a rushing touchdown, but he did have, obviously, as I said previously, a receiving touchdown. The key for the Bears, obviously, Brandon Marshall, who put up the most catches and the most yards. He had eight catches for 107 yards. The Texans are now 8-1. and one. The Bears are 7-2. and two. Jay Cutler was knocked out of the game. He finished the first half, but he was knocked out, did not start the second half because of a concussion. So who comes in? Jason Campbell, a guy that they paid for to have a slightly better quarterback than a Josh McCown, Caleb Haney type of quarterback. He went 11 of 19 for 94 yards. The third downs combined with these two clubs, five for 27. Not a great day. In the first half, the Texans absolutely crushed the Bears in time of possession. Their running game was great. Chris Collinsworth, who's catching a bunch of heat today, especially in the city of Chicago, because when Cutler took that hit, uh, that would later lead to him having concussion-like symptoms and a concussion, it was ruled, said that, oh, that's a Bears quarterback. So aside from that, he did point out one thing that was very important. There was this stretch play that the Texans ran over and over. Now they disguised it sometimes as a stretch play when it would be play action or play action when it would be a stretch play. Their offensive line played extremely well. They kept Matt Schaub upright for the most part of this game, and they opened up a lot of holes for Justin Forsett and Arian Foster. With that being said, the Bears defense did force two turnovers. One of them was lucky when a Steve Smith-like-esque play when the guy fell down and Tim Jennings intercepted it. He had two picks on this day. Still leads the NFL in that category. Another key was Matt Forte. He did not have a ton of room to run when they did insert Michael Bush. He got a first down and plenty, but then he fumbled. So that was huge. The Bears had a ton of turnovers in the first half. Kellen Davis with a ton of drops and one of them was on a fumble when he got hit by who else? Former Bear, Abilene Christian, Danielle Manning. Brandon Marshall also dropped a surefire touchdown that probably would have changed the dynamic of this game, so that was huge as well. Tim Jennings obviously had a good game. Peanut Tillman was everywhere. He was guarding uh, Andre Johnson for the uh, major part, for a major right part of this game. By the way, on that hit by Tim Dobbins that knocked out Jake Cutler uh, in this game and led to him having a concussion, if you notice on the, on the replay, it appeared that his back foot was... Uh, prior to the line of scrimmage. So they called it uh, They called it that he was ahead of the line of scrimmage, which negated a huge game by Devin Hester. If you look on the replay once again, it appeared that his back left foot, and this counts. It's not where the ball is. It's where the last part of your body is. So if your whole body is ahead of the line of scrimmage, it should be, it should be the, whatever gain or throw or play that happens should be negated. But this one was uh, ruled wrongfully and negated a huge game by Devin Hester. But either way, Cutler was knocked out, concussion, and who knows his status for their next match against San Francisco at Candlestick next Monday night. Shane McClellan also suffered a concussion within the first five plays of this game. So the Bears lost their quarterback and they lost a starting defensive end, the rookie out of Boise State. The remaining schedule, or the upcoming schedule, I should say, for the Bears, as I said, at San Francisco on Monday night, they play the Vikings twice against Seattle. That's a pair of six and four teams right there. And then against Green Bay for the Texans. They face off against Jacksonville at Detroit, at Tennessee, at New England. Not an easy schedule, but one that is favor in their favor, at least one would say. So we want to hear all of your thoughts. Leave those in the comments section below. Tweet them at me, Abrick Strom. Please do us a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports.